Number 13, this figure over here shows an arrangement in which four discs are suspended by cords. The longer top cord loops over a frictionless pulley and pulls with a force of magnitude 98 newtons on the wall to which it is attached. The tensions in the three shorter cords are T1 equals to 58.8 newtons, T2 equals to 49 newtons, and T3 equals to 9.8 newtons. What are the masses of this A, disc B, disc C, and disc D? So we have a force over here, let's call it F which is equal to 98 newtons and this force is the same as this one over here so because the, the pulley is ideal so this is F equals to 48 newtons so let's draw our free body diagram for each disc so for the first disc, disc A the free body diagram is force F pulling upwards, then we have the gravitational force pulling downwards, let's call it FGA, and we have T1 pointing downwards, so this is T1. For disc B, we have T1 upwards, we have gravity downwards, FGB, and we also have T2. For disc C, we have T2 pointing upwards, we have T3 pointing downwards, and we have gravity as well, FGC. And for disc D, we have T3 pointing upwards, and we have gravity pointing downwards, F, uh, G, D. So now what we have to do is to write Newton's second equation for Newton's second law for, for, for the, the four disks. So for the first disk, we have that F minus T1 minus F, G, A is equal to mass times the acceleration of disk A. However, they are they, they don't have any acceleration. They, they their velocity is zero and will keep being zero. So the acceleration is zero. So this term goes away. And this is zero. The same is true for disk C, disk D, and disk D. The acceleration is zero for everybody. So for disk B we have T1 minus T2 minus FGB, which is equal to zero. We also have that T2 minus T3 minus FGC is equal to zero. And we have that T3 minus FGD is equal to zero. So we have to solve those equations to find the masses. It is pretty simple. Just remember that the, the gravitational force is mass times the, gra the acceleration of gravity. So let's work with this equation. For example, so T3 is equal to mass of disk D minus, sorry, T3 minus mass of disk D times gravity, which is equal to zero. So MD is equal to T3 over G, which is 9.8 over 9.8, which is one kilogram. So the mass of disk D is one kilogram. So this is the answer of letter D. So let's go to this equation now. So we have the T2 minus T3 uh, is equal to MC times gravity. So MC is equal to T2 minus T3 over G. And this is T2 is 49 minus 9.8 divided by 9.8. And this gives us 4 kilograms. For MB, so isolate MB in this equation. MB is equal to T1 minus T2 
over let's see if it is correct it is over g so this is equal to t1 is 58.8 minus 49 over 9.8 and this gives us one kilogram so the mass of disk b is one kilogram as for disk a we have that the mass of disk a is equal to f minus t1 over g and this is equal to 98 minus 58.8 over 9.8 which gives us 4 kilograms so it doesn't matter the, matter the order in this exercise you could have started with the first disc and then go to the second the third and the fourth disc and so on or you could do as I did over here I started from from disc D and then went to C B and A it doesn't matter in this exercise